guys, welcome to another video on the Angler's Addiction. Before we go any further, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and you know what, turn that bell on, ding, ding. Now, on the back of the CID Sprat video, I asked you guys to get in contact with us and let us know if there's a lure that you want to see reviewed, you want to see cut open on the bandsaw, and you want, you want to know a bit more about. And Russell Welsh reached out to us on that video in the comment section and said, hey, how about the double clutch? So that's what we got today. Now the double clutch comes in a range of sizes. Um, we chose the 60 for this particular video. We got the purple color there as well as the silver. Okay, we went down to just our local tackle store and putting that rod down there. No tackle store in, in particular because they all seem to sell these for around the 20 to 24 dollar mark. Now, I haven't fished these yet, so I can't really talk a great deal about them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to the river now. I'm going to whack some waders on in case I want to go for a wade and whatnot. And we'll get into some fish. We'll see if there's some around. Now, the conditions today are a bit average. We're coming off the back of a front. Um, it's rainy. The water is absolutely frozen. And I'm going to be surprised if any fish can swim in it. But anyway, let's get these double clutches in the water and we'll see what they can do. Let's go. Ooh, and here we are, getting into the water. Chase some rim. I've got some beautiful structure around here anyway. Try out these uh, double clutches. See what happens. At least being on the flats, runs a nice light drag. And shouldn't cause any dramas. See if the brimmies are around. Bit of wind whipping across them which is good. Hope it means the brim won't be too spooked. And first cast with the double clutch, fouled up halfway. Yep, there, oh, there we go. So third cast in on the double clutch and we um, had a bit of an inquiry. So at least we know the brim are up on these flats. These double clutch do cast bloody well. I think just a really slow, retrieve a few pauses and some twitches might be the go today I mean the water is very cold glad I got the uh, the old waders on just yeah, a bit disappointed that fish there didn't stick but hopefully um, he wasn't a lone flat ranger we've barely even started on these flats and some beautiful structure out there There he is. Let's fish on. Little Min. Little Min Brin. Still good fun on the flats. And it's a first for the, the old Raider. Oh, the Raider Rod. And of course, there's one right there for the double clutch. So the double clutch catches fish. We'll um, get the hooks out of this little fella. Get him released. Those hooks are nice and sticky. I, I just don't know how the first one didn't. Um, whoop! And there he goes. He's off. Yep, yep. There he is. That's a fish. Oh yeah. Good, good, good. Quick little change of location and it seems to have turned, turned up a fish. Boise birds up there though. This isn't the biggest fish in the world, but, but you know what? Oh, it's illegal for sure. And it's another one for that little Daiwa lure. Now this guy has absolutely crunched that lure. Nice. 
Wow. Okay. So that was an interesting session. Throwing these double clutches around, we, we got everything from wax hits. Um, we landed only two fish, which was a bit disappointing. We missed a couple of strikes, and that's what I found out was due to a straightened rear treble that I um, foolishly overlooked. But this lure, this lure, this casts stupidly well for a 3.6 gram lure. We've got a sliding weight system in the center, which go, look, which, I mean, this lure is slightly transparent, which is why I'm looking forward through it, but it runs up and down what looks like a stainless steel bit of wire. Um, and yeah, we've got, we've got a cylindrical uh, cast weight system. And that really showed through because as I was punching into that wind on the flats that you saw, not at this spot, at the other one, you, you would have seen that it was really pushing into that wind really nicely tail forward and it didn't tumble a great deal. The only time it tumbled was when I made it tumble, being an absolute muppet. Um, the, I found the profile of this lure fantastic, and the best thing about this lure, you could absolutely rip it. I could rip this as hard as I want, and it didn't spiral. I could suspend it, I could jerk it, I could do whatever I wanted with this lure, and it behaved perfectly. But the one thing that's got me going is, what does this car system really look like if we chop this lure in half? So let's get on the bandsaw, let's chop it in half, and let's have a look. So I can hear what a lot of you are already saying, and I can, I'm sorry this isn't a bit more in focus, but it's about as good as a GoPro gets. But I know what a lot of you are saying, you saw me go completely off center on the cut, and that's because of this little fella. So this is that sliding cast system. Now on each side of this sliding cast system, we seem to have a tiny little plastic, um, I guess like, like a bump stop, if you wish, um, which, which stops that uh, metal cylinder from bumping too hard. Um, apart from that, um, we've got, obviously, we've got your line uh, line keeper there, um, which is wired up until the head here. We've got no wide through construction, which you wouldn't expect from a hard body of this size. But all in all, I think um, it, it's very impressive, the inside of this um, this little hard body. Is it as good as some of the other hard body, um, small hard body manufacturers with long cast sort of systems like this? No. But um, certainly for a $25 lure, this lure is um, pretty good on the inside. So, the double clutch. Would I buy it? Absolutely. Well, I've bought two. I'm a massive, massive fan back in the day when I was brim fishing of zip baits, pontoon 21s and so forth. But I can see the double clutch certainly getting a spot in my box. Now, the one thing that I find interesting about the double clutch is they also come in a 48 and a 90. Now that 90 is gonna be absolutely dynamite for the Swan River Taylor and so forth as well. And with the color schemes that they offer, I just, I'm just excited. I'm just really excited about this lure. It behaved amazing. As I said, it only got a couple of fish, but, the, but there was still a lot of follows, a lot of strikes, um, a lot of missed hookups, and of course, drop fish. I'm not going to I'm not going to base the shutdown or finicky bite on these lures at all because they generated interest. Now when your lure generates interest, you know it's going to be okay. I'm certainly looking forward to throwing these a bit more around some tight structures and we might even revisit this because as I said I've only used these lures for one day but they've been enough to really get me excited about what's going on. So guys, as I've said before, reach out to us if there's something you want to see or there's a lure you want reviewed that we haven't done yet or you're looking to buy but you just can't bite the bullet and buy it, let us know because we'll head out, we'll spend some money, we'll get these lures reviewed, we'll chop them up, we'll fish them and we'll see how they go. Until the next episode guys, catch you later, I'm getting back to fishing. Catch ya.